Today I show you guys how to put one of these in your helmet. What's going on, Throne Arm? You guys saw my new crown from last week's video. Um, it, if you guys haven't seen it yet, I'll put a link in the description. But here is my brand new matte black CPXR um, with a gold titanium cage and a gold visor. Um, besides knowing a lot about the helmet, you guys have heard there's been so much about this and also the gold titanium, which I showed you guys um, in the video and you guys have seen in a few photos. Uh, the biggest thing you guys wanted to know about is the gold visor. I've actually done a little video on this earlier, but um, it actually got out to the company that makes this that I was wearing one and they were interested in doing a partnership together. So I wanted to, um, I don't know, talk to you guys about it and also uh, share the discount you guys are going to get through Throne, which I think is really cool. And uh, finally, I'm going to show you guys actually how to install it on your helmet. So um, first up, um, I'm going to walk you guys through the installation. Beep, 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 dee, 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 dee. I'm taking part my visor out of my helmet. So here's my visor. I like to use the Oakley football visors. I've used them for other sports and I find them to have the least amount of distortion while wearing them. So that's what I went with. Um, I also like the look of them. Um, and as you can see, this is just a clear visor um, that has the shock insert in behind it. There you go. It's clear. And then there's the gold. Um, that's what's really cool about these shock visors. And shock actually stands for sports helmet optical conversions. And um, they're offered in a bunch of colorways and this one's cut for the Oakley one they offer ones for the Nike the Under Armour um, and other uh, types of visors but I, I like the Oakley I would try and stick with the Oakley and this this real in installation could be adapted to the other brands but um, it's mostly focused on the Oakley one so what you're first gonna do is um, there's these little uh, rubber kind of tabs that go into the visor and then on the back is actually um, what the is threaded to for the screw to go into and I pop that out with a pair of uh, needle nose pliers I put the visor insert onto it and then I slid those metal tabs back in and that just makes it um, a little bit more rugged it keeps it in place when you go to screw it down um, you can put it in behind the plastic here um, I have seen it done and I was able to get it off on one side but my other one was very stubborn and it wouldn't come off and I was afraid of cracking it so I just put it in behind there and it fits exactly the same um, there's no real distortion to it so um, if you can't get that the little um, rubber um, or plastic uh, gusset that holds the actual threaded um, back part um, you can just do that if you can't it's fine it will totally work um, the other thing I did is I actually chopped off the top uh, tab here you do not need to do this for the uh, CPXR but you do have to do it for the Pro 7 um, and so I tried to just get it and fit into both but since this is I'm primarily just using a CPXR right now this is not mandatory but you can do that if you want to put it in a Pro 7. Now that we have the visor ready to be inserted in the helmet, the first thing you want to do is take out the chin strap. It makes it easier to install the visor without scratching it um, and just gets the chin strap out of the way. Um, the second step that you want to do next is take the bracket that's provided by Oakley. Um, I already have one installed here. Um, here, this is what they look like. Very simple. Um, they actually have two barrels to them. There's a small one on the bottom and a big one up top. And um, they're pretty self-explanatory how they go in. The only problem with them is um, they you really want to use the one that is completely encompassing. The other one, the bar can slide out. I actually used that bottom one for when I was installing this on uh, just my tungsten cage, um, on this cage actually, on my, my older CPXR. And I'll explain to you really quickly the difference between the two. Um, this, actually I'll just stack them. The Pro 7, or not the Pro 7, the titanium cage has that extra bar in it, unlike the tungsten cage, and it really nestles that clamp in there very easily. So if you have a titanium cage, this system will work perfectly. Um, if you have just the regular cage, it's going to take a little bit of uh, modding to make it work. But um, So what I did is use the smaller barrel one um, and attached it vertically on this one, something like that to mount it to but it's it's very fragile and if you get hit really hard it will pop off um, there's a few ways around it you can always uh, build this up with tape or some type of pipe wrap to make it go to the larger dimension and it'll make it um, uh, just more rugged and it's very simple um, pretty easy that's what I would recommend to do um, but I actually would found a way to make it work perfectly on the new helmet so I do not need to do that so getting back to uh, the new helmet with the titanium cage um, you can use the bigger barrel one as you can see the screws on the bottom now and it has this little tab and that just goes right behind the extra bar and it makes it very very secure all you do is just slide it over the, uh, the 
bar and it snaps in nice and easy and then your both of your um, clips are installed. This next part is going to be very hard to show on the camera because um, I can't hold the helmet up but pretty much all you're going to do is insert the visor. Um, I like to th uh, put the helmet on my lap like this and then insert the visor down through it. Um, just be very careful. You can move the ear pieces if you need to on the helmet um, but you can flex the visor um, a good amount before it's really going to break. So you just want to put it in. Just try and keep it away from all the uh, uh, kind of stuff that can scratch it and you'll find it goes in pretty easily once you convince it a little bit. So there it is just dropped into the front of the helmet. And now really all you're going to do is line it up. So with the uh, again with the titanium cage, just make sure that tab is behind that extra bar. And then you're going to push the visor forward into place and push it up into the helmet and see without even having screws in it it locks right into place and it tucks into the top of the visor right here. You just want to push it up as high as you can get it and uh, as you can see the alignment's really nice. It really goes along that one bar giving a nice look and it makes your mouth um, exposed which is a big thing to try and figure out for the placement because if you cover your mouth you, you'll fog up the visor and it's also a little bit harder to breathe because your breath is coming back at you. So. Um, that's what you want to do and then all you're going to do is put the screws in and it's installed. So I'm going to do that quick and I'll show you guys the final product. So there we go. It's all installed. Chin straps back in and you're good to go. Um, very simple. Probably takes you all of two minutes to install it. Um, and the hardest part is getting the, uh, the little grommets off to insert the visor behind the shield. But once you do it, you're good to go. And the other cool thing is you can take it out and change it into other colors. So Shock offers a bunch of colors and I have a few of them to share with you. These are all for Oakley visors. Um, they're really cool how they're interchangeable. This is silver, um, really, really cool look to it. Um, I really like the, the colored ones too. We have green, purple, and then uh, here's a gray if you just wanna give a smoked look. It still has a little bit of a mirror, but um, it's uh, definitely easier to see through than some of the other the other ones. Uh, here is blue, which is really nice. Might throw this in the Duke helmet. And then finally, my favorite is the Iridium, which is just crazy looking, has a really cool change of color to it. I'm definitely gonna be throwing this in my next helmet, and um, I'll show you guys really quickly that you're able to see right through them, um, which is really cool, but then on the outside, it's really reflective. If you guys are interested in picking up one of these awesome shock visors, the first thing you're gonna need to do is order a clear visor. Um, doesn't matter what brand it is, as long as it's a football visor. And then um, going over to, uh, then you wanna go over to Shock's website. I have a link in the description. And you wanna pick out what colorway you want and make sure you match up the type of visor insert for the type of visor you pick because they're all cut for each different type of brand of visor. Um, they offer them in a bunch of colorways. They all have photos um, on their website and they're really, really awesome. And then the most important thing you want to do is on checkout use the coupon code TOS1234 and you will receive 10% off your purchase for being a Throne fan. So that's everything guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope I see some more really awesome visors out there. Um, I'm really interested to see other cool color combinations. Also far I've only really seen um, in lacrosse the ones that I've done and I'm interested in people that you know have purple teams or blue teams doing some really 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 cool colors. So yet again all the info is below to pick up a visor and to get the discount as well. If you guys like this video please throw the video a like and I'm planning on doing a full review of the CPXR matte black very shortly. Um, that's everything guys. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>